I'm Dr. Leonard Jason. We've developed a free online textbook for the field of community psychology, becoming an agent of change. In this brief video, you're gonna hear about what we tried to do to make this resource available to you at no charge. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Ola Glanzman and I'm a senior professional lecturer at DePaul University. Creating this textbook was important to me for a number of reasons. First of all, as a community psychologist, I truly believe that knowledge should be free. Additionally, having a high quality, free open access online textbook allows for greater dissemination of the information about the field of community psychology and allows students, faculty, and members of the community to access the textbook and its content. Furthermore, we were hoping to attract a new generation of students and potential future community psychologists. As a team, we had to think through how to create a unified vision and a functional cohesive volume while doing so in a manner that is both logically feasible, but financially viable. At the same time, while open access education platforms and resources are increasingly becoming a new frontier in, in education, Dissemination of this information is not easily accessible to the public. What it means is that we have to go out of our way to learn about textbook networks, open access resources, and other related nuances, all while creating the textbook itself. Over the course of the year, over 40 Society for Community Research and Action members have participated in the development of this text. Each and every one of them passionate about the topic that they covered. I could not be more proud of the team that I was a part of and of the textbook that came out out of this collaboration. Hi, I'm Katie Granian and I'm a current graduate student at the University of Chicago's School for Social Work Policy and Practice. As an alum of the Community Psychology Program here at DePaul University, I was drawn to this project because of its emphasis on a bottom-up approach. Throughout each of the project's phases, students provided critical knowledge and feedback on what an ideal textbook is for them. Their responses included things such as accessible language, the use of photography and real-life examples, the incorporation of quiz questions to gauge understanding, and interactive features like the ability to highlight and watch videos. The student feedback was also used to make informed decisions, such as what platform we would use and our funding sources. Our funds enabled us to hire an undergraduate student editor and to disseminate the textbook. Our continued effort to both evaluate and receive feedback on this book provides students and professors reassurance that they have a high quality educational resource to use in their classroom. Hello. My name is Ted Bobak. I'm a fourth year graduate student in the Community Psychology Program at DePaul University. As part of the doctoral curriculum, students are required to engage in a fieldwork project. During one of our team meetings at the Center for Community Research, I struck up a conversation with Dr. Olya Glansman, and she mentioned a need to evaluate the free Introduction to Community Psychology Becoming an Agent of Change textbook. It just so happened to be at the same time that I was looking for a field work project to partner up with. I also remembered that as an undergraduate, textbooks were very expensive. And I also saw it as an opportunity to expand my knowledge about community psychology, which is the field that I'm studying. So I obviously jumped at the opportunity to perform an evaluation and flex some of the skills that I learned in graduate school. I stayed on after the evaluation and created the lecture slides, and I currently manage the email account for the textbook. Very briefly, let me read a couple of questions uh, that the students were asked in the surveys that we gave out. How much did you learn about the field of community psychology from this textbook? 65% said a lot and 30% said a tremendous amount. How satisfied were you with the content of this text textbook? 50-50 split, satisfied and very satisfied. Did you find the textbook to be user-friendly to navigate, such as glossary terms, links, et cetera? Over 75% said definitely. Would you recommend this textbook to be used by others? 75% said definitely yes, and 
almost 20% said most likely. Learn more about our textbook by going to press.rebus.community slash introduction to community psychology or by searching introduction to community psychology textbook. We hope you enjoy it.